what it is, man. Detroit versus everybody, man. Detroit, we rep the hardest, man. We gain the hardest. You know what you know what it is, man. Detroit, CJ, I'll let your boy when we get home. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Help Blaze, at thehelpblaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code GOODFELLA1BOXING. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella since you get 18% off. We out. All right, man. We back. Goodfella Sports TV. We're going to talk about George Foreman. Actually, I think I remember this, but I mean, it just wasn't relevant at the time. How, you know, basically he fired his trainer after the Thriller Manila. Not the Thriller Manila, but he fought uh, Muhammad Ali in Africa. He fired his trainer. Um, and I think it was Dick Sadler. I put on the screen. and said that he poisoned his water and, and said the roast was loose and this, that, and the third. Also, we're going to talk about um, Regis Progress reacting to um, Adrian Broner going to jail. But I heard Broner got out. Well, I seen it for myself. He was chilling with Mikey. But first, it started off with Alexander Pervek, and Apparently, he got the row row the COVID-19. Let's talk about that. Hit that subscribe button, the like, comment button, share the video. Don't forget, um, check out my backup channel, Goodfellas Sports TV 2.0. I'll be doing all my lives over there. So, check that out. Um. You can check out my sports cast as well. I'll put that in the description. Um, I got to figure out how to go live over there, and I'll be going live over there in um, Goodfellas Sports TV 2.0 when I figure it out. But I appreciate everybody for tapping in. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. But Alexander Povetkin got the coronavirus, and he got a fever. So him and Dillian White is postponed. And um, pretty much, Dillian White looking for a new opponent. Derek Hay, I mean, excuse me, David Hay is pushing for Derek Resort and Dillian White 3. Um, also you're hearing, uh, Eddie Hearn want to do Dillian White and Tyson Fury and you know, it is what it is. So Pavekin is sick and I don't think he's ducking Dillian White. It's just that he got the coronavirus and hopefully, you know, he able to recover and fight Dillian White and put his lights out again. So right now, Eddie Hearn going to have to find a new opponent, um, for Dillian White and why not Deontay Wilder versus Dillian White if Wilder can't get Tyson Fury. So that's just a little tea leaf there too. Um, Wilder gonna go on his sympathy tour crying about uh, Tyson Fury finessing him and nobody's gonna care about it unless, except for those people on the other side of the street, the letter crew. But uh, we can move on. Pretty much Regis Progress reacted to um, Adrian Broner going to jail. He said that he messing up his money. Broner did get out and I guess he was on track to fight January. Some, some, he was on Mikey Garcia Instagram live drinking something. Seemed like he was getting drunk. Um, so like I said, Regis Progress signed his life away to PBC to fight Adrian Broner, a guy that might not even make it in the, in the ring January, whatever it is, to fight Ivan Red Cash. Um, and then, you know, he's a guy that just missed weight, you know, and he's a guy that's just reluctant to go up to like heavy, I mean, go up to welterweight. And I can't blame him. Really, it's a whole bunch of politics there. You don't want to be sitting there fighting meaningless fights and beating yourself up. So, um, really, he trying to get it. He said he want to shot a rematch of uh, Josh Taylor. That's not going to happen. He on the wrong side of the street for that. But he said that Bob Aram couldn't promise him a shot at Jose or Josh Taylor. But it wasn't even a close fight. He got his ass whipped in that fight. You know, people talking about oh, he got robbed. That dude lost 8-4. The only reason he lost, he was, it was 8-4 because it really could have been 10-2. The only reason that fight was 8-4 is because I think he had a head button and Josh Taylor eyes swelled up. So, you know, he showed that he a warrior and could take punishment. But him and Adrian Broner, that don't move me. You know, that's just an easy money fight for him to beat on AB. And I ain't mad at him. Get your money, man. Go ahead and beat up on AB. You know, only way it counts in my book, if he stop him. I said the same thing about Javante Tane Davis. If he don't stop Leo Santa Cruz, it don't count. Javante went out there and handled his business. Now, Regis Progress got to go out there and handle his business. It don't count if he don't stop um, Regis, He don't stop Adrian Brown. I think he can go out there and stop him. I think Regis, you know, he fights at a pace. And if you make Regis step up that pace, you know, I think like Josh Taylor did, you got a good chance to win. But the thing about Regis is he rose to the occasion. He didn't, it wasn't like he got dominated. He got dog walked. Just that Josh Taylor was a bigger, stronger opponent. I think he underestimated how good Taylor was, you know. And, you know, when you go over to the UK, I think he about to just, you know, beat him. And Taylor and Tyson Fury just from a different breed. They could really fight, you know what I'm saying? And so could Ricky Hatton. You know, people get mad at Ricky Hatton. So could uh, Joe Calzaghe. You can say whatever you want to say about Joe Calzaghe. He can fight. You know, he his, his career was manufactured the right way. But, you know, if a lot of these fighters, I'm going to say, even going to, if a lot of these fighters, you know, didn't have matchmakers and they fought the killers, everybody had losses, including Floyd Mayweather. He had several losses. It's, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? You know, boxing, it's all, I mean, the, the Lakers can lose. The Yankees can you, lose. Everybody can lose. You can lose out here in life on a game of basketball. Losing ain't nothing. It's about how you, how you react to losing. 
how you dust yourself off and get back in the game. So, um, you know, look forward to him fighting uh, Adrian Broner. Um, if Broner came back in the ring, but I wouldn't count on him. But we'll see what happens. I would like to see him fight Maurice Hooker. That'd be nice. But uh, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, it's the grunt of the video right here. Uh, pretty much, uh, Lion Killer. Check out his channel, Lion Killer Podcast. Um, he's he gave this to me the other day. I couldn't get to it, but he said that uh, you know, he pulled up something that George Foreman when he lost to Muhammad Ali uh, in Africa, and I heard it. He told me it was really hot that day too. If it was a regular day, Foreman probably would have won. He said he he uh, fired his trainer, and he said that he his trainer drugged his water. He said that his the ropes was too loose. He made every excuse for why he lost. You know what I'm saying? And, and probably that's why he said he he the only person that know what Wilder's actually going through. And that's why he reached out to Deontay Wilder. Wilder lost flat out. You can't prove that that man cheated. You can't prove that. Muhammad Ali gloves just to flat. He beat you fair and square. You know, in the first fight, he really beat you. In my opinion, you got a gift. He just was the wrong style for you. You need to be blaming PBC matchmakers. But at the same time, George Foreman went through that very same thing with him. The very same thing thing with his trainer. He blamed everybody else. I think he fought a couple of times, and then he retired for a long time. And then he had to come back for redemption. For Deontay Wilder, he got to accept defeat. And if he don't accept defeat, he'll never come back and be the same fighter. And he's 35 years old. just turned 35, October the 22nd. So happy boss day to him. But what I'm trying to get him to understand is, and he probably don't watch my videos. And who the fuck cares? All right? But what he need to understand is you got to accept defeat. It's okay. You know, Roberto Duran quit. That's worse than what you did. You didn't quit. Mark Breland saved your life. Because if, if he was really hurting you, your ears was busted and everything was like that, Breland saved your life. If he went on to pound you for whatever, eight, four more rounds, five more rounds, you would never come back from that whooping. You'd be like Mildred Taylor. Mark Breland gave you an opportunity to live another day, to talk to your daughters, to talk to your girlfriend, to be sitting there and being able to you know, be on Instagram and, and do all this and yo king is he gave you opportunity like that. You know, you lost. Just accept it. Once you accept the loss, you will be able to move on not only in boxing but in life. But if you don't move, if I'm Tyson Fury, I'm gonna give you a rematch neither. You slandering my name. No, if I'm Fury, you wanna fight me, come on and say you you come out here and give me an apology. Say you sorry for what you did. I don't want I apologize. I don't want the neither, but I wanna say I want to hear you say you sorry. I saw with Fury for accusing you for whooping me down, whooping me, boy. I want to see you say I'm sorry. If I'm Fury, I ain't, I ain't find you again. Unless you saw we. I make him say sorry. So him and George Foreman went through the same thing. And people can have a conspiracy. Oh, CJ, you know he cheated? Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. It's been March, April, May, June, July, October, November almost now. So it's been seven months and you ain't proved it. It took you seven months to prove that, to come out with that video. You need more people. We don't believe you, my Jay-Z voice. Just do what former did. Sit back. You know, you can't sit down for that many years. And just like, you know what? He was the better man that night. I need to get better. I need to get me with a trainer that can show, that can get me sharper, that can get me better. And let me see if I can come back and do this thing for closure. Because you need the Fury fight for closure. Even if you're undisputed without fighting Fury, you need his fight for closure. And let's keep it real. A lot of people don't know you was breaking camp to go chase your woman. You was, you know, breaking the middle of camp, cutting camp two weeks early. You was believing that your punch was everything. You you believed your own hype. You believed you was good. You, were, you was a victim of, like Marvin Hagler said, was sleeping in silk sheets and still, and still having to be hungry. You know, you got to get back to bases. You got to get back to that remains to burn on your toes boxing. Using the jab. You when you use your jab, it's pretty good. It's really good. But George Foreman can help you do that. Take responsibility for your loss. You believe your right hand was the equalizer. And if Wilder don't know shit about history, Mark Breland do. I'm pretty sure Mark Breland knew about history. Now, Jay Diaz might not. But the thing about history is this. It's been way bigger punches than you throughout history. Shavers, Norton, Pound for Pound, Julian Jackson, Joe Lewis, Sonny Liston, George Foreman himself, Mike Tyson. One thing Deontay Wilder got to understand, no matter how big a puncher is, modern day punchers, Madonna, Matisse, Victor Ortiz, 
no matter how hard you hit, and I think Julian Jackson might be the pound for pound biggest puncher of, of, in history. Sugar Ray Robinson, no matter how hard you punch, it's somebody out there, heavyweight, cruiserweight, like heavyweight, super middleweight, bantamweight, super. It's somebody out there that can take your punch and it's going to put it back on you. You're going to have to be able to take it and be able to go through it. You can't just, you can't be a great boxer and, and, and run through everybody because you can punch. Your punch of power ain't, ain't, it's been seen before throughout history. So it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, cry response, your video request. All my social media links are in the description. I also got a Facebook group link. So if you want to advertise your business on my uh, channel, hit me up. I got good rates. Uh, other than that, if you got a video request or you just want to chop it up, hit me up. Twitter's the fastest way. Also, don't forget to check out my backup channel. We're going to be going live over there. Goodfellas Sports TV 2.0. Want to make a financial donation? Best donation to make a shared video, but Cash App is CJ Good 313. That's in the description. PayPal link there as well, too. Please just share the video for your boy. If you haven't, hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. We are.